right, all right, all right. Let's do this. If you've been on my channel, you will know that in February, well, May, I did an unboxing for Floralia, where I usually go all out as best as I can to get myself more rapiculous lelias. And uh, in May, they arrived, but they were missing some that I wanted because they were supposedly not available. And here we are. <laughs> I'm hopeful with all the tubs that I have prepared and with all the name tags that they are all in here now and we shall see and I'm going to have to get a bag for the packing peanuts I'll be right back so thank you very much for joining me wish me luck with Floralia it's always a little bit of are you going to get what you asked for how is the labeling can you distinguish some of the hieroglyphics and make sure that you label your orchids properly <laughs> so i'm a little bit apprehensive to be honest i am you get as much of this out of the way because you know puppy <clears throat> let's see let's see let's see oh yes i can feel the familiar tupperware that's already a good sign it's of size let's say rapiculous lelia is not being very big a little tupperware will do but the size encourages me. I'm anticipating seven if I didn't miscalculate, miscount. So fingers crossed. Oh, there's another package underneath, which is awesome. We'll deal with that straight away. I hope the angle of the sun isn't such that it's in way of the light. I would not want to have any rays come between what I am doing and what you would like to see. If you're here and I appreciate your time and your company. All right, all right. Ooh, why am I always nervous when it comes to unboxing Floralias? Because <laughs> I'm excited for one and apprehensive as well, because it's, you never know. Okay, oh boy, right. Angareri is here and Papstii is here. Now they do look shocking, but uh, I'm not surprised in that regard. I just hope I can do something with them. Oh boy. Right. So, but the labels this time I can actually decipher, which is awesome. So before anything, I'm just going to position these in the tubs and afterwards we'll have a little quick overview of all of them, okay? If that is all right, timestamps will be in the description. So if you don't want to be watching me fandangling around here, then fully understood. Make sure I don't quetch something that might be tiny, tiny. No. Oh, okay. Angareri and Papstii. We are a go with those two. Uh, uh, uh. Now, in here is a very special one. Oh, they're all special. What am I talking about? But in here, there should be one that has got my name in it. Nina crossed with Bella Vista. Or, as I've been hearing on Matt by Nature, Bella Vista. I guess, Portuguese, huh? Get the languages right. And I hope this is you. Sincorana Nina crossed with Bella Vista. Here you are. <laughs> happy, happy. In your tub you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have goosebumps because of both happy days and nervous, nervous, nervous. Let's get the next bigger one out. Guajense. Lelia Guajense, you're looking okay. Yeah, you're looking okay. We can do something with you straight away. And, okay, this is concerning. Oh, well. One, two, three, four, five. It's like I'm missing two. This is Sophronitis coccinea. It's a replacement. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh my goodness, whether if this is whether this is going to replace the one I lost, I have oh, very very doubtful. Oh yikes. 
All right, well, let me get cleaned up here and I will show you what I thought I was going to get. I have five. I feel as though I'm missing two. I do feel as though I'm missing two, which we will have to check by process of elimination of my tags. Yeah, I'm missing rubescence and I'm missing history. Let me check. Okay, Ungareri is right here. Wow. It's been chewed. Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. This is why there's always a bit of apprehension and excitement, but see? Yeah, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. Just like with my Sangiloba. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. Oh boy. Okay, Angareri is there. And the coccinia. Oh my goodness. Ouch. This was to replace the one I lost. Oh, ouch. All right. Then we have. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. this one is looking okay because it has a new growth. Okay, Papstii is here, and I'm missing Fistery. It's got a new growth coming, so we've got potential there. It's got big structures, I'm okay with that. Got a growth here that was chewed up. Make sure that we don't lose this side of the orchid right here. Gotta be very careful. Every little bit of structure helps now. That could be potential for a new growth right there, so you gotta be careful with that. Ooh. Pops DI. And then here is this one. It's the Guahensis. See that? Guahensi. Uh, it's tried to already create its own little rescue system up here, which is concerning. When they do that, that is concerning. But these roots are viable. I know they look dry, but that's normal after shipping but they're viable. So we can actually get this one into a pot straight away. So this one's looking promising. I'm gonna get your sticker off here, baby, because you need to breathe. Let's go. This one's, this one, although it doesn't look like much, it's, it's okay, it's promising. And this is the one with my name on it, the Sincorana, Nina Crossbow Bella Vista. Let's get your tag in there. See, it's got a new growth coming, and this one is quite all right. These roots are also viable. This one can go into a pot straight away as well. So that's a relief. That's a relief. Oh boy, but I am extremely apprehensive about the others, and I will have to email them and see what they say. Now, anyway, look, this is for me nothing like, let's say, new. That's why I'm apprehensive. When Floralia arrives, I'm happy because I can tick some more off the list. But it also is very, very concerning when you get very weak plants like this and you wonder, you just wonder if they're even going to survive the stress of what they've been through. But there's only one way to find out. Keep going. Treat them as you would any other new arrival and maybe baby them a lot longer. My other ones from May, most of them are still not potted up. They are in no condition to be potted up. And I hope that now that when the temperature drops a little bit, I may be able to pot them up simply because maybe when their colder temperatures arrive, they can actually grow some roots. And I've, all I've done was tied them over the summer period. But hey, yeah, I'm a, ooh, my heart is going 100 miles an hour. Mixed emotions here, very, very mixed emotions. Wow, check that out, poor little baby. We need to see a new growth so that you can look clean and tidy. Right, this, very concerning. But I'll email them about the other two that I'm missing and I'll tell them that the coccinia is, it should never have been sent. This poor little baby should never ever have left the country, it should have been made certain that it was going to survive. Excited about Nina crossed with Bella Vista. And this one here as well, the Guajense. 
going to be all right because we have viable roots. Right, so, well, that was interesting. Oh, don't know what to tell you, don't know what to tell you. Happy that I've completed now 90% of the order, ending two orchids, and we shall see. I'll keep you updated and see what they say where we went wrong. Could have been my mistake, you never know. These things happen. Anyway, <laughs> I got me some new Rapiculus Lelia, so I can tick some more off my list. Fingers crossed for all of us. Appreciate your time very, very much. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day and please stay safe and take care. Bye.